I wanted to finish this unit with a practical application here. I've shown a lot of theory on how all the geometric symbols work, but I wanted to show geometric commencing in action. What would it look like on a real part? So the assembly for this was a gearbox where you had an input shaft coming in here and you had a gear in this location. Another gear will mesh for it here and then output axis will be over here. So how do these two pieces mount to each other? That's how we pick the datum features on this piece. So A, almost obvious on this one, that big face is going to set up our primary datum plane. Now how they're aligned to each other is using alignment holes and alignment pins. So there's a hole here and there's a slot here. And so this pin goes into this slot and this hole goes over that pin. So what did we select as the datum features B? The one that is going hold the pin, that's going to be your XY locator right there, locating in the Y and the X, giving you two translations. Now what degree of freedom would still be left? That would be your rotation, your clocking. And so they use the slot. And the slot width in this direction is what's stopping the rotation C. So that will give you your datum reference frame, line up the hole and slot together, and there's the datum reference frame we need. And then we locate all of our features off of that. So we use position and profile to control the location. Position for features of size and profile for surfaces. And look, that's all we use here. Position, profile. Position, position, position. I mean, everything is position and profile. Locate everything to the data reference frame. Now, of course, we're going to use all dimensions are basic here because we're using geometric tolerancing. And rather than putting boxes on all of them, the note, I think, was better here. And I wanted to put in a plug for ordinate dimensioning using these zero planes. So we can just say that going through that B hole right there is your zero, zero. And then these dimensions show how far you're off from that zero, zero. 200, 1.5, 3.1, 4.4, 4.6, those are just distances off those zero planes. Ordinate dimensioning works so well with geometric tolerancing because geometric tolerancing, you set a coordinate system and you control all your features. So it makes sense to dimension that way as well. This prevents you from having to do all these dimensions like this, which gets very crowded and hard to see a part that has all these lines going across it. So just using the zero plane, much better. Well, let's look at the mating part for this. So the mating part has a very similar setup. The pin that we're aligning to, that is going to be our B feature. And then the pin that we're using to stop rotation will be our C feature. So we line up our B and our C to create the rotation of the coordinate system, the origin, of course, staying in that B pin. So B pin sets the origin. The other pin is just clocking it, anti-rotating. So now I'd like you to look at this drawing and tell me which features are most critical. Well, obviously, the datum features, right? So you got B and you got C. Those have pretty tight tolerances on them. But what past the datum features would be critical features? So what I do is I just look for tight tolerances. Tight tolerances usually mean critical features. So what popped out at me was this 2000. That's a pretty tight tolerance. So is that going to apply to the through hole or the counter bore? Well, they're separated out here. The through hole is a 550 plus or minus 5. That has a very loose position tolerance of 15000. It's the counter bore a diameter of 750, tight size has a tight position taunt. So you can see the counter bore is really doing the location in this application. All right, what other features are critical? Ooh, the four kind of popped out at me. So on the cross section here, they're pointing to this bottom surface. So it must be that that gear is going to bottom out on that bottom of that counter bore right there. So that's going to be a tight profile tolerance to control its location to the datum. And then you've got medium tolerances at 8 and 10. And then really loose tolerances like 20 here and 20 here, and 20 here. So obviously this hole doesn't matter, this inside edge doesn't matter, and this back face doesn't matter. So that's good geometric tolerancing. It tells you how it mounts with ABC, what features are critical with the tight tolerances, and what features are less critical with the looser tolerances. And all dimensions are just basic. They kind of fade to gray for me. I don't barely even look at dimensions because we're going to eventually put those all in the model in the future anyway. Hopefully this practical example helped you here to see how the parts mount together. That's where the datum features come in, tight tolerances on position and profile for critical features, and looser tolerances on things that don't matter. Now the next units will have some specialized concepts going into virtual condition and the max material boundaries.